To begin using your Haofa Chronograph Model 2366, let's walk through its key features and proper handling. The center-mounted chronograph hand, usually resting at the 12 o'clock position, is for timing purposes and doesn't function as the second hand in regular timekeeping. On the watch's side, you'll find two buttons. The start and pause button is located at the 2 o'clock position, while the reset button is at 4 o'clock. These buttons control the chronograph function. When you're ready to start timing, press the button at 2 o'clock. To pause, press the same button again. Once you're done, press the reset button at 4 o'clock to bring the chronograph hand back to the 12 o'clock position. On the dial, there are three subdials. The small dial at the upper left is the hour counter for the chronograph, while the right side dial counts the minutes. The lower subdial is the regular seconds hand, which functions independently from the chronograph. When you need to wind or adjust the time, the crown is a screw down type. To begin, unscrew the crown by turning it counterclockwise until it pops out. To wind the watch, turn the crown clockwise. For time setting, pull the crown gently to the next position and rotate it to adjust the time. After setting, push the crown back to its original position and screw it in clockwise, while applying a bit of inward pressure to ensure a snug fit. Always check that the crown is fully screwed in, as an incomplete seal will compromise the watch's water resistance. Please remember not to operate the crown or chronograph functions while the watch is submerged in water, as this can lead to water damage inside the movement. Lastly, avoid keeping the chronograph running for long periods, as this could put unnecessary strain on the movement.